I'm Ellie Kay and this is Dana Dimitri and we're co-authors of a brand new book called Lean Body Fat Wallet. We're here today to give you health and wealth holiday tips. And today we want to talk about budgets and don't freak out, it's a good thing. Before you get full swing into the holiday season, as the health coach here, I want to give you a holiday calorie budget. Here's how it works. In the days and weeks leading up to Thanksgiving and even between Thanksgiving and Christmas, before you're full swing into all the parties, I want to encourage you to just start eating a little bit less every day. Maybe 100 or 200 calories can add up to thousands before Christmas time. Additionally, if you just try to burn a couple hundred extra calories a day, that can add up as well. And now you've got this little calorie bank account that as you start to eat more during the holiday season, you can accommodate some of the extra food that you bring in and not gain weight this year. What a concept, Ellie. And that's especially true when it comes to the area of wealth. When it comes to this area, I think it's important to follow the old saying that I grew up with, and that is, if you aim at nothing, you'll hit it every time. You have to set up some kind of a budget, something to aim for during your holidays. There are going to be three different lists that you make. You've got the card list, you've got the baked good list, or something else that you create. Check out Pinterest for some really great craft ideas. And then there's going to be a traditional gift of some type, whether it's a gift card or whether it's something that you purchase with actual cash. So you have three different areas. Now keep in mind that people are going to be moving off of this list and into a different category at all times. So someone that you used to give a gift to, maybe now you'll only give a card to you because you kind of lost touch and they didn't give you anything for the last three years. Just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, I think it's important to reevaluate this list on a regular basis and then you back up and you realize how much money that you're going to be able to spend without going into debt and then you plug the people on these three different lists into that budget, realizing how much money you're going to have to spend on every person. If you do this, you're going to find yourself coming through the holidays with no new consumer debt, and you're going to be a lot wealthier. And hopefully, no new fat. This is Dana and Ellie bringing you your holiday survival tip from Lean Body Fat Wallet.